Uh, I think on first impressions, we're gonna we're gonna out of ten, we're gonna give it a a two and a half out of ten. Um, we do have a profile picture of some sort. Uh, we have a wonderful Microsoft Paint drawing of uh an anime Monty. Okay, uh, that's some. Um, we have a low resolution banner of Montequila. Okay, uh, that's something else. And we have a one minute and 30 second clip of Overwatch. Whoa, huge hog hook. Amazing. Two songs on top of each other. Uh, so many emotions. Inspirational, beautiful. cuts out we get silence beautiful beautiful all right let's go watch his uh his lethal company video <laughs> what the fuck are these yeah, graphics bloody. these are good graphics when you heard lethal company graphics come on man so for the better experience we're gonna go into game chat and just yeah bias. yeah i'm just, I'm gonna, just gonna deafen, deafen yeah. yeah all right, all right. bio what I, I think i've done this before. and um dynamic ah. <laughs> all right i took off my slider on my I opinion am the maximum no Masimum. not maximum <laughs> jesus bitch Bick. Oh, yeah. There we go. Because... Did you do the age? Bitch. Bick. Okay. Oh yeah. There we go. We can... So oh, okay. okay. Run down. What? The door. Whoa! It opens. Oh my. Okay. I want to Monty's like, there's a door. Whoa. A door. <laughs> we're need to use that. I'm still reading. It's gonna take me a minute. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like explaining so, it with um, words. Um, um, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Base game is just we're just gonna get this wrap, and they take up inventory slots. So you have four. Uh, some of them are pretty heavy, so it will take up all of it unless you have three, and then you can pick up the heavy one, and then you just have four stuff in your inventory. I'm gonna do it um, again. Some of them make sounds, some of them don't make sounds. Uh, and once we have, them, I can jump. Yeah. Uh, but once we have scrap, we we'll just go back to the ship and drop it off, and then that's where we have money. Uh, that's pretty much just uh, the objective. Is just get money and make the quota. Quota is currently 130 dollars. Uh, it varies. Today, Junior. Holy shit. Hang on, I'm on the third page. Leave me alone. Interesting. Yeah, I'm too dumb for that. I'll leave that to someone else. All right. <laughs> oh, damn. I didn't even read any of this. I'll be honest. I've seen this book so many times. I've seen this flip book so many times. I've never re read any of this. So I'm learning stuff right now. I'm like, wait, culprit, you better be there. I don't know if you're lurking. If you're there, yeah, I was born already. Don't drop off immediately. Oh, I'm jumping right off. 
Well, now you get the boss. We're on Celestial Body 41 Experimentation. It's, oh, I didn't get to read everything, but that's alright. You are good. Have you played this yet? I'm gonna bug you. This is gonna be live on review, and it's going even up on YouTube because I'm not gonna go through and cut this out. You gotta come play Lethal Company with us. You have to, have to, have to, have to, have to, have to, have to. And there is even a mod that allows us to have more than four people. If you want, okay. Uh, if you want to stream it or do something tonight, uh, Monte and one of his friends. And I, uh, well, I guess, oh, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we can do the, this is where the multiplayer mod might have to come in. Um, but we might be able to get four people together. Probably definitely can. Oh, I don't want to. Gosh, don't leave anybody out. Or you just gotta pl go play it on stream. It's a either way. Just a start. It's a it's an absolute blast. So, anyways. Quicksand, watch out, we gotta. All right, what's that? So yeah, quicksand is a thing in this game. Uh, you can give a stamina for jumping and running. Three. Uh, currently, if you see the zero pound, that's how much you weigh. You're down for four people at most to start with. Yeah. Don't. Okay. So don't. No. Not with. I wouldn't try it actually. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't try to start with the multiplayer mod thing because it's gonna like, it's really gonna screw with the game. Um, but later on, once you once you tried the actual game out and you played it, if you like it and to do like a fun community group thing, it'll be, it'll be a blast because it's up to forty people. Okay, we can mod in up to forty people. Fifty actually, I saw. Sorry, I saw a patch note. It's like oh, there's fifty people. So as a community game, oh my god, that it would be so funny. We have them. Yeah, Adventure. Right, take it, it, it down there. We gotta go inside the building. Adventure. So I'm gonna pause right now because I'm gonna give Monty some like uh, some artistic direction with this. Okay, it's really important. Artistic direction. Right now, I'm not sure where the video is going. This is great. I like. I, I. What's good is you get some video footage up, and if you want to start doing content creation, even Culprit, who's in chat right there, he can tell you that just starting is the first thing that you want to do to doing anything online and getting it going. Because as I've mentioned too, it's about workflow. It's about learning how to get the stuff out uh, at, at a reasonable pace and to do it in an easy way where you're not struggling and then having crap content come out at the very end. Um, the big thing that I don't know right now is that we did like you introduced with kind of messing around and then a quick explanation of what should be done. Like one of your friends was doing it and I've already played this game. So I'm not really interested unless I like interest in, in the content directly. Um, I'm, uh, so I'm not right now. I'm not invested in your story at the moment. There is a fun kind of perspective that you can you use the exact same footage, but it depends on how you uh, how you lay it out. But there is a way that you can frame this as, oh, here is the new guy. Here is this guy who has no idea how anything works and he's learning stuff. And then I, I can be invested in that kind of story. But when the when the video is just empty and kind of just footage, it's really hard for me to get into it. Or it's really hard for me to understand or like be right, best so in your right. Story. If you press the right mouse button, you'll find the main entrance. Oh, okay. And so this is where the top begins. Uh, do you guys want me to explain everything or do you guys want to go? <laughs> Alright, I'll leave you guys to it. Jenkins. Mira Jenkins. Uh, so there are fire exits in the game. Wow. That's a dark hallway in which no fun is not gonna happen. I found a key. Ooh. Keys are very. I'm fun. putting myself on Do Not Disturb on uh, Steam because I'm getting my friends like notifications. I got a key. Nice. Oh, maybe for that door. Hmm. Yes. Key equal door. What you can do when you're making gameplay too is narrate sort of what you're doing while you're doing it. And that would invest me a little bit more into your thoughts because there's a lot of movement around right now where you like you did mention you want to pull the the lever thing. 
but also too i don't know what you're looking for i don't know like to me i just see gameplay at the moment which is okay um but what am i hey in for the door what is the reason that's really important uh it's boring down here there's nothing here that just sounds like a skill issue <laughs> <That's> just... <laughs> so we're gonna pull up like a big thing that my thing over there. I have an egg beater. Or an egg beater. I can buy I guess we're done now if you leave, but yeah, they're all outside. We have to die. Wait, you guys forgot this. Jesus. Alright, let's do this shit. And what I do is I drop items right here on the front. I'm gonna drop a G. Uh, G yeah. And then if it's not a key and it has like a like a gear uh, or like a screw item on it, just drop it and then we go back inside. Damn. Oh no! He's dropped around. I'm gonna go there. Dude, I'm not Are you the fog? Oh, it's my right there. Yeah. <laughs> I just kinda ran into a corner. Oh. oh. <laughs> so here. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, it's coming. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Good idea. Alright, I think we make fun I think we make fun are, are you streaming, Monty? I want to see that from your point of view. Because I was just sitting in a corner at that point. Like, I just gave up. <laughs> I'm looking at you just like, like, just sit. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, shit! Oh, they just jumped. They're all dead. They're all dead. They just are all dead. That was a good game. A good try. Let's <laughs> go. We all died. Oh my god. That's funny. I wait too heavy to even move. God damn it. I blame Danny. Why did you even move as well? They jumped right into. That was quicksand, basically. So. Alright, take two. That was hilarious. Yep. Let's do it. We will be rich. We need stonks here, alright? We need to buy parkour. Hold up, hold up, I'm almost at you. I think. Alright. On the right side. And if you see him. That's it. There's a, there's a monster in there that hides. Especially too, when we're doing content, you have to really consider the audience that you're going for, right? There are. Um, Audiences that already like you will already wa will watch your video, right? That's what they will do. Um, when you want to be able to build out an audience, you have to figure out some kind of niche. You have to be able to uh, solve something for somebody that they would not normally know they either needed or, um, or like, I don't know, answer a question that they really wanted answering. Um, the... The question here is like, how are you playing the game? And what is the thing that you want to emphasize? You can have a title like The End is Nigh, but when you set up the entire story, when you set up the environment, you want to, you want to, I like, I always like the idea of like, okay, uh, three noobs dealing with, uh, uh, three noobs go into the company blind or something like the legal company blind, right? And what that does is it frames a perspective. So everything that I'm watching from that point on, I'm like, what are these noobs doing, right? What are they, right? Um, I want to have some kind of perspective that breaks down what the larger goal is of the team. When you get onto the ship, if you really want to just, if you're there to create content and you know your friends are there to create content, then creating goals and objectives, um, even on the fly, will allow you to or allow the viewer to be a little more invested, right? Um, there's a different style of storytelling that comes in with that. You can go in later and cut it all up and make a story from it. And that depends on what, what the work you're putting in like is. Uh, so for example, and I love it because Culprit is up there in chat, probably still lurking here. Um, I'm going to use him as an example. Um, and I can use my own stuff as an example too, where culprit is always saying something he's always interacting he's always 
moving around. He's always describing what he's doing. He's always he always has a larger uh he always has the chat in mind and the larger events of the world in mind. Um even like but his niche is in the chaos, right? When he talks, he talks about the chaos. When he when he builds his world, the world is around the chaos and it's around the viewer interacting with his his scene. So whenever something happens, he really wants to make sure that the person knows that he saw it, but also to like he's going to he's never going to like you never let something shock you and then not say anything about it because the like you're you're there to tell the story and it's hard to tell the story without actually saying the thing that happened so there's a lot of things that are going on to you in these in these um in these situations and if you describe it if you if you're the logistics guy if you're like guys we're gonna set up this area we're gonna move items from here we're gonna do this that that that's the framing that you're putting your video in that's the framing that you're putting your environment in everything that you say should be about uh like should be about the thing that you're attempting to do if you're a prankster or a jokester, then the entire time that you're playing, everything that you say should be about pranks or about jokes. If you're like, there's all these, like you are a storyteller. That's the real important part. And I don't want to skip this too much. But and if you see him, if like, it's kind of like the Enderman. A little bit of storytelling. Except without the suffocation. But if you look him in the eyes for a little too long, <laughs> he will snap your neck. I like oh, that. But lovely. I want to point out, I make my own story there, right? If you if you if you build a story where you jumped off blind the first time and died and then you reference that the second time you jump over that's fine but I'm the one making the story if I see that happen and it's not acknowledged and like you kind of look at him and look away and then you should be fine I ah. hope Vex can hear us No yeah she can <laughs> You fucking idiot Look at that dead body on the... <laughs> yeah, so on the monitor, you can see everyone's uh, point of view. Imagine falling into the void when you could have, like, just walked around. These guys are running three players. Yeah, no, right I now. didn't think we knew that, but I didn't know about that. Okay. We gotta name him. He's our dog. Uh, he's, oh, he's, called, he's, he's called the Puffer. He's a Biscuit. Let's just call him Pablo. No, Biscuit. He's Biscuit. Biscuit? Let Biscuit. Glim biscuit. I got a door. Open the door? Oh, biscuit's coming after me, boys. Bad door, okay. Bad door. Oh, I found Pablo. Biscuit. I'm a fire exit and more items. He dropped the damn key. No, I've got a key. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also the, the sound bees. of your keys. <laughs> How did you go for the bees? This little rock. I was trying to go to the left oh, of the people. I wanna ask how I died. It was a valley. Wait, what? Uh, you you got killed by bees and you didn't put it in here? Yeah, <laughs> he skips, the bees! He skips the bees. How did you go for the bees? I was trying to go to the left. Oh, I'm Come sad. on. Alright, hold up. We should probably. Alright, let's, let's, let's do a leave early thing. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna be tough. Your channel. Oh my god, why can't you open paint? Nah, paint 3D. Channel 2.5 out of 10. Okay, for setup. The video, I'm gonna put the video. The video I'm gonna put at a four. No, I'm gonna put a three, just for the, uh, just for the video quality itself. Okay, because it's, it's recorded in a relatively low quality. I would give it a four if it was higher resolution. Um, but now I, I'm gonna be very critical here. I want to point out I'm. Five to me is average, right? A lot of people will think about things that seven is average. 
right? Which is not the way I'm going to view my marking at all. Seven is not average. Five is average. All right. My videos, my scraps videos, I like five. They're like a five, <laughs> right? The intro, if you just took the intro part, I'd put them maybe at like a seven, right? In terms of just production and setup and everything like that. But because I'm just putting my footage out there and my footage, like, because it's just, I honestly, literally most of the time it's just, uh, it's just Overwatch video game footage. And I've just kind of cut out the major parts in it. Um, like it's not the, it can, it, uh, there's a lot of things. There's so many things that I could do to make the scraps videos better. Right. So maybe a five on an average scale, but to somebody who might really like overwatch content that brings that five, just cause they love the overwatch content up to like a, like a seven, right? It's it, it could if they really really like that kind of content. If they are a community member, community member might bring it up to an eight because they're more like they know more about the game, the stuff that we're doing, right? Like to me, so what I'm gonna do is like I'll add in those kind of marks to it. To me, because you're you know because I know you and I'm willing to watch the video, your video is gonna like could naturally be bumped up to maybe a five because it's something i'll watch it's an average video that i'll throw on and i'll watch and i'll you know because it's a friend and it's a person around you know, whatever like it, it's that's the reason right it's something that that is in my circle but if i were to like throw this at a random person and i was to like probably just go hey what are you what are you doing it's probably a three now i'm pretty specific on why okay with these with uh with why I might give somebody points. Um, some of it has to do with camera movement and framing. It's going to, there also has to do with storytelling. There has to do with, um, uh, you know, video quality itself, uh, clarity of information, uh, even acting. There's a lot of things that can add to it where there are moments, which I think the moments like your moments are in general are like an eight, right? There are funny moments in there. There are really funny moments that are an 8 out of 10 inside the video. Um, but you need to be able to separate the video from the events that happen inside the video. Because the video is all about what you set up and how you look at the framed moment. Um, so very critical, I know. It seems 3, 2.5 channel. But we can very easily bump these things up. Now, because I'm going to cut this up and probably meant you're going to watch this as a video after anyways... Um, I will show you some other tools that you can use to make things a little bit easier on you. So if I pull up, um, like you could, you could make your, um, your entire channel off of like Microsoft paint characters and whatever you want from that, but you have to put a little bit of effort into it. Right. So if I was to put together like a Sulak logo, which it this does seem stupid and trivial, but it actually does matter quite a bit. If I was to put together like a Sulak logo, we do something like, I don't know. Uh, how do we do this? So I got an S. Uh, you, you just do a few of them. Uh, no. Uh, S. Oh, is he messaging me? Oh, he's don't appreciate what? Oh, he's not. I'm still talking. To, uh, okay, one sec. I'll message him. He's messaging me. I'm still talking about uh, it, but I'll upload the video, the vid to YouTube. Um, but if I was to create a logo, uh, it would be literally S. I don't know what else color could we use. No. S G right this this would be my logo and it's stupid and it's it's a Microsoft paint style it's a paint 3d <laughs> style logo but you could get away with throwing that in and it does show a little bit I know this is this, you're like but I put a little bit of effort into my um into my little character view your uh, sorry your um, profile picture right but you want a recognizable image. The reason for this, you want a recognizable image or shape that someone can click on or tap on when they want to go to your content. This is really important. This is this will just mix itself 
into this large list here. But if you can see my Sulak, yeah, no, not the most successful on there. But take a look. Flats is a big YouTuber there. Uh, if we go down the list, uh, uh, am I not? Oh, I'm on the Scrub Club. I don't I'm actually not sub to many people on this. I'm not going to switch um, accounts on here. But if you take a look at your like top YouTubers, you'll see they have pretty distinct logos. And that's what I want to go for when you're doing something like this. If you're going to be doing a background of some sort, you can easily just throw in a whole bunch of stuff and, and do some real cheesy style whatever you want on there as long, as long as you're putting effort into it, right? As long as you have a good amount and effort by effort, I mean the same resolution too as your background. Um, we can see this is blurry. Yeah, that's really rough. Another tool, which we use all the time, uh, which is only recent and just came out as is, is uh, AI tools, AI imagery tools. They're, um, I think, I think Microsoft, uh, what was it, Bing Chat or, uh, there's quite a few other services now that do have AI tools that will help you create your own setups. But if you want, you can do something along the lines of imagine minimalist logo sheet, multiple examples. Boom. We'll give us a few seconds and it'll render out with something. Now you can always message me and ask because I have access to these tools. If you want to try and build out a little more of your content this way but it does package things in a much nicer way and it makes it look like people will people will respect what you do if you put a bit of time into making it look professional looking professional just means you probably put effort into almost every single every single corner of the content that you're putting out um we can here we're almost done 78 percent wait 93 bam this is what I use. This is a list of logos, right? Some very basic things that you can use that are that have no real meaning. Some of them do have meanings, but we can refine and, and go through that. Uh, of course, being your own content creator, you have to be able to set something up like this yourself. And having small things like intros or setups and something I've learned recently, and just I know you've probably seen the videos already, but... A big thing that I've learned is to frame um, to frame my videos and give context to what we're doing, which is why I have the Sunday Scraps intro, but we also have the explanation now code of like, hey, go to the code. Or the worst of CC by introducing a Counter-Strike style system that slows players each time they are hit. We have also given every player passive healing, to right? just so that the viewer knows what they're doing, knows what they're getting into. Whereas if I was just to upload the video footage of us playing, nobody would know what we're doing, right? Nobody would have an idea of the larger story of the scrub club. And we're trying to, we're just playing, we're trying to find out what's fun with Overwatch. Like that's kind of the major, major purpose of everything, right? To challenge people and to mess around with different uh different layouts and play heroes and that's what the intro describes and so that's where when you play your games when you play something like lethal company uh you want to have somewhat of an intro and you go well, guys we're this crew and we need to get some money and we're whatever and you know uh I, I, here's the new guy and this is the guy who's been here for 50 years and you, you're not necessarily rp but you have some fun with it um anyways I'll cut, I'll kill the video here. Th thanks for watching as is, uh, for the YouTube video itself. Um, yeah.